Hey, what's up guys? Mike Locke here. So let's talk about how to use real fonts on your website. The technical term, I guess, is called web fonts. And here I am at a site um, that's using it as an example. just wanted to show you this. This word here where it says, or this phrase, the secret weapon for email marketers. It looks like a JPEG, but when you highlight the text, it's actually selectable. And it's, um, it's, it's searchable, like the search engines can pick up the, the, these words so that you can actually start using real HTML text that looks like JPEGs and um, it'll be picked up by search engines. So now, so that's, this is called web fonts and there's a, there's a company called Typekit that I guess was the leader in this space. Um, you can go there, typekit.com and check it out and kind of read all about it. But what I'm excited about or and all about is Google Web Fonts because Google Web Fonts allow you to do the same thing but it's for free and it's pretty easy they basically allow you to select if you go to google.com web fonts they allow you to select any of these fonts that they have in their in their um, archive or list and um, you can choose to use these on your website and what Google will do is basically serve this up on your website and I just wanted to show you how easy this is. Here's a simple, you know, um, simple HTML page that I have. And this code here, this is a, this word here is just in an H1 tag. Let me just show you the HTML code for that. So if you look here, all I have is that tag in H1 tag, right? So if you go over to to Google Fonts, let's say I wanted to use this um, this right here this this uh, text beaven as um, I wanted to use it for this portion here all I have to do is click on this and click over here where it says use this font and then there's just two lines of things you need to 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 do you just need to copy this this line here and embed this in your in your header right that's the first thing and then the second thing is just grab this grab the HTML and apply this to your style sheet so in this case this is the h1 tag which I've set up already so we're just going to grab this entire thing and apply it to my style sheet so if I do save go back over here let's do refresh you see that it changes the font now into the style that the, the font of uh, you know that I chose on um, Google web fonts and then what you could do once you have the style selected you can go over here and in this style sheet or in that class or that selector that you identify which is the h1 tag you can now say I want this to be font size let's do font size 40 and I want it to color I want it to do white and let's do line height. Let's do one em and uh, letter spacing. Let's do one px. All right. So you see that I did font size forty, color white, line height one point one, um, and letter spacing one pixel. So if I do controls S for save, let's go back over here and enter and then it changes. Now I didn't like the letter spacing so I can just go ahead and remove that. But everything else looks good. Now for example now it's it's in white and at this point um, you can go here and add a text shadow. Let's do one pixel, one pixel, and color. Let's see, and uh, let's see, and Dreamweaver allows you to select colors here. So let's just do a dark, do a dark gray. Control S, hit Enter. Let's do letter spacing now because letter spacing is out. Let's do. 3px. So if you look really close, you see a little drop shadow, little dark drop shadow. 
and this is an example you can always play with the colors let's say you wanted to make this like a, a gray color oh that's not good let's do CCC anyway the point is um, you can go ahead and you can go ahead and style this text any any you know any way you like and um, use it on your web page. If you put graphics behind it, it'll end up looking something like this, where you put a nice design treatment around it and then you add the text on top and it'll actually look like a JPEG. But that's how you use real fonts on your website using uh, Google Fonts. Alright, hopefully this was helpful and uh, thanks for watching.